what up my peeps, how's it going? We're gonna be looking at Weaver build for PvE today and this is a build I use uh, mostly in Path of Fire but I have tried it around Tyria and around Heart of Thorns and I really like it because Weaver allows you to use uh, CC abilities to crowd control your enemies while you dash out tons of damage um, so yeah, stick around and I'll be showing you the build I use. So the specializations I usually use are Fire, Air and Weaver. You could also go for Fire and Arcane, that's also a really nice um, choice. But I personally like to go with Air and Fire. The reason for that is fire gives me a lot of burning conditions and uh, it also increases the damage of the fire abilities as well as reduce the cooldown on those abilities. So that's a really nice ability right there, or I mean um, specialization right there. So if you go for that mastery there, it reduces your cooldowns so you can dash out a lot more damage. So I really recommend that one. I go for Burning Precision, I go for Pyromancer's Training, and I go for Pyromancer's Puissance. With the specialization of air, I take Zephyr's Boon, Aeromancer's Training, and Bolt to the Heart. Now, these two basically just give me uh, some nice swiftness, uh, and this one reduces the recharge on your ability so basically again just cooldown reduction you can use them a lot more often for the crowd control and to dash out more damage on top of that I like to take the bolt of the heart because it increases your damage it also um, is really nice against big bosses because elementalist is quite a an AOE based damage type of character so like you against big crowds it's really nice but if you have to take down one really tanky um, enemy you dash out slightly less dam damage than uh, other players might you know other professions so in that sense I think that's a really nice ability because it makes you close off the the kill on those bosses a lot easierly in the weaver I like to take the master's fortitude Weaver's Prowess and Invigorating Strikes. This allows me to be a lot more tanky and survive a lot better while still dashing out some nice damage with this increase in condition damage and condition duration. So this build, as, if you, as you've noticed, is very condition based so I recommend you taking some um, condition stats, uh, condition damage stats and power in your build and if you, th it's it's up to you really, and depends on the items you pick up along the way as well. Sometimes, so yeah, it's up to you. If you feel like you need more vitality to survive, go for that. Um, but apart from that, I think you will be pretty good off. I usually use the staff in this build, and the way to go for it is yeah, you get mainly fire and air out. You can also swap to fire and water, fire and earth, air and f water, air and earth. But oh, I usually try and stay around fire or air at least just so you can get those those boosts on the go a lot better. But obviously it depends on the situation so if you want to run away faster you you might want to be in air. If you want to dash out loads of damage to a big crowd you might want to go for fire fire and earth or fire and water are also really good because they give you a lot of CC and fire and air also has the static field so overall as long as you got one of these three water air and earth equipped you'll always have some CC to dash out and to basically use your staff ability as much as you can because that's what you're trying to 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 use you know like your range that's why I enjoy this build it allows me to use the staff a lot a lot nicer and you don't get rushed as much by the enemies because you can dash out all these CC abilities while still having that burst from fire so overall I really have been enjoying this for the PvE 
Um, the utility skills I use here, I, you probably noticed, I use the Glyph of Elemental Harmony. This allows me to be tankier if I need to, or de deal more damage if I need to, uh, because it gives me that big, uh, big single target healing, but it also gives me the Might ability or the extra healing regen there or the movement speed uh, swiftness of, um, increase there if you're in air and that extra tankiness from protection there if you're in rock so that's why I enjoy playing with the glyph of elemental harmony is because yeah it gives you that big healing just yourself and then gives you these boons on top uh, depending on which attunement you're using and that's really nice because if you're in fire you can get that extra might if you're in water you can get that extra regen if you're in air you can get that extra swiftness and if you're in earth you can get that extra protection so I like it because it's quite versatile and gives you that large uh, healing just to yourself now if you're playing in groups I recommend using aquatic stance that's the new healing from weaver and that's really nice because especially if you're auto attacking with the water blast here the number one from staff water it combos really well because basically uh, every time you hit an auto attack you'll heal the area and you'll heal your allies and that's exactly what water blast does as well so you could be dashing out some fire fireballs um, at your enemies while still healing your allies around them or you can just double heal your allies around the, the enemy you're attacking so that's really nice if you're playing with the team um, right there but I personally prefer this one for soloing now these utility skills obviously they're like they depend a lot on what you're doing and what you prefer to use um, sometimes if I want to just do some map uh, completion I'll use the signet of air but overall I like to use the lightning flash because it allows me to get off of tight spots uh, I like the new ability here the twist of fate because it breaks stun and uh, makes you evade attacks while you move away from the the area you're in so I really like that ability there it really stops you from randomly dying when you shouldn't be <laughs> and yeah basically the elementalist is very volatile to being stunned because then you can get bursted quite easily so that's a really nice um, escape card right there I personally like to go with um, with uh, these three right here because the armor earth and the twist of fate they give me like more reassurance uh, if I get downed or to try not to get downed I mean they give me a bit more reassurance of being tankier and give me more sub stability and protection as well as like evading stuns and breaking stuns in any case I like to use the fire sword there I think the fire sword has a better combo if you're playing with the Tempest because you can overload while you're using it nevertheless because I'm in fire stance and stuff I like to use the fire because the burning will do extra damage and basically it's just really badass to use the fire sword and with big sets of mobs you'd be dashing out tons of damage because of that area of effect damage so I really like to take that one some nice um, wants to take in PvE as well are the Glyph of Elementals because that brings out the Fire Elemental which de deals so much damage you can bring out your um, your Earth or Ice Elemental they're quite tanky and the Ice Elemental also heals around this area and on top of that you can use the Air Elemental if you want some extra stuns and extra CC's that's also a pretty good one to take but yeah anyway it's quite a versatile one just like the healing so that's also a nice one to take around if you want I personally enjoy taking this one because yeah it just gives out loads of damage I personally found that the weave self is just not as effective at least the way I play PvE because uh, I tend to try and be further away from the enemies whereas this kind of bursts around you um, so you require yourself to be right in the middle of them. I use the sword to go into the middle of them, but if I just use the weave self, I don't have any reason to be so close to the enemy with the staff. 
so I, I find it not very useful for the build I use. Um, I believe it's really useful especially if you're taking a sword build because yeah you'll be able to be right in the middle of the fight dash out that crazy CC around you while getting all these boosts but I think it's not really for the staff right there so yeah this has been a guide to the weaver build I use for PvE uh, drop it down in the comments section down below what your thoughts are, what, what would you do differently, what's your build for uh, PvE we Weaver and have you been enjoying Weaver in the PvE and uh, even in PvP and so on, I'd love to, th to hear your thoughts and yeah, drop down in the comments all your thoughts about these builds and other stuff you'd like to see in the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like the video if this was useful to you and if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it and if you enjoyed it, give me your thoughts in the comments down below so I can improve for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.